Okay, I wanna quickly share a case with you that we had today. Um, it was a patient who was referred to us for shoulder and arm um, weakness. And the story goes that a couple of weeks ago, they began to get shoulder and arm pain, very intense pain. Uh, and as that began to improve, weakness set in. So that's actually a pretty classic uh, history for someone with this condition that we ended up diagnosing. Um, what we did in order to come up with the diagnosis is we did an EMG study, electromyography which looks at the health of the nerves and muscles in the involved um, area. And after doing that study, uh, the findings were consistent with something called idiopathic brachial plexopathy or Parsonage Turner syndrome. So there's a mouthful for you. But basically, uh, the condition involves inflammation of the nerves in the shoulder, uh, that being the brachial plexus. And it's a weird condition because we don't know what causes it. Uh, it's been associated with various infections and trauma and vaccines, but there's something that sets off the immune system and causes it to essentially attack and inflame the brachial plexus. Uh, so that is, again, the pretty classic presentation, very intense pain and eventual weakness. And it really tends to be a time limited process. So it takes many, many months, but the majority of patients recover uh, from this and eventually become asymptomatic uh, or without any symptoms. So Anyway, idiopathic brachial plexopathy, that's a weird one for you.